The pipers are huge, two stones, 15 feet tall. Legend says two pipers were turned into stone for playing music on the Sabbath. Walking down the road, I smelled the sweet scent of honeysuckle, and as my feet crushed the chamomile in the field, the air was pungent with the fragrance. Foxglove, digitalis, was everywhere. Such a stunning red-purple color against all that green, and the stalks were as tall as six feet. Lots of heavenly scented wild roses, purple and white varieties of clover, as well as buttercups and Queen Anne's lace, and of course the ubiquitous nettles. Saw a few rabbits, and I watched a fox in the distance pouncing on a field mouse or some other small animal. Parked the car so it was facing southeast where the moon would first appear. It became so cloudy about the time I should have seen her that my hopes were dashed. I waited and waited, but I never saw the moon. Finally, I crawled into my sleeping bag on the back seat of the car and slept for four hours. The next night, although the moon's light was bright enough, the clouds were moving in. I took a 15-minute shot with just a thin layer of cloud covering the moon and with one bright star showing behind the piper. Then I tried a 30-minute shot and quit at 23 minutes because it was getting light. Slugs kept getting on my feet, and I was wearing sandals. Yuck!